वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर हेडिंग टू होगेनकल वाटर फॉल्स इट्स जस्ट थ्री आर ड्राइव फ्रॉम बैंगलोर होगेनकल इज एक्चुअली अ कनाडा टर्म होगे मीन स्मोक एंड कल मीन स्टोन यू विल नोटिस वाई इट इज कॉल्ड दैट देर आर एक्चुअली टू रूट्स वन इज वया होसूर कृष्णगिरी धर्मपुरी एंड होगेनकल अदर वन इज अति बेले तेंकनी कोटे एंड देन होगेनकल वी आर टेकिंग द सेकेंड रूट वील शो यू गैस हाउ द ड्राइव गोज एंड हाउ द फॉल्स लुक्स इज स्टे टू लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट we started our trip and within 10 minutes we were greeted with this beautiful pink blossom view oh i just love it what a way to start a road trip Bangalore to Hoganagar is just like three and a half hours to four hours drive, depending on the traffic. But if at all you want to take a pit stop, you can take a break at A to B in Atti Bele. They have huge parking space, clean restroom, good food options, and you can even buy some sweets and snacks. So it's a good pit stop before you head further if you need a break. So this is where the deviation starts between route one and route two. If you want to go to Tengani Kotte, then go under the flyover, take a right, and then keep going straight to head towards Tengani Kotte and then Hoganakal. A little bit about toll charges. If you take Ati Bale Tengani Kotte Hoganakal route, there are no toll on this route. Other than if you're taking electronic city flyover, you'll have to pay forty-five rupees. Or if you're taking nice road because you're coming from, say, Rajajinagar side of Bangalore, then you have to pay for that toll. But after you cross the city, there are no tolls till you reach Hoganagar. Summer is here, guys. So try to reach Hoganagar at least by eight thirty-nine. and then you will get to enjoy a little more little better it will not be very hot and also carry some uh, cap and sunglasses and also apply sunscreen dharmapuri district gets really hot 70% of the road was predominantly good there were some broken roads and patchworks and it was like single lane through the forest stretch and guard sections but not too many hairpin bends so i think you guys should be able to manage the drive uh, but yeah 30% there were broken roads in this route uh, we just entered guys uh, we paid 50 rupees for the forest entry uh, we are going further ahead it was like there is 15 more kilometers to go ahead so we'll show you guys we are almost there i'm very excited so let's go So we have actually come in summer, so you guys can see, you know, on all the sides it's so dry. Uh, in monsoon season, it might be green, uh, but then summer is kind of the season to visit Hoganakal because they love coracal, right? That's like a must-have fun experience uh, for which people generally come. In monsoon, when the water level is very high, they generally stop coracal, right? So I think whichever season we pick, there is always some pros and cons. I can start seeing River Kaveri flowing on the side of the road. It's so beautiful, guys. I cannot wait to go in and explore more. The second payment was for car parking. Uh, it was seventy rupees. Uh, they give received, and actually, once you enter, so many boatsmen were there. Uh, they were asking if. you know we wanted coracle right they would accompany from the entry point itself uh, we have not taken any we'll go there and uh, we'll figure it out uh, so let's go there are actually two parking spots uh, the 70 rupees we pay is for this uh, huge parking space and it's the same place where the bus stops 
and uh, if this parking is full you can also go and park in hotel tamil nadu for additional 50 rupees parking charge and from this uh, main parking area some 700 to 800 meters you have to walk to reach the falls before you enter the falls main area there is a place where you can actually go very close to the river and uh, enjoy the beautiful view. Once you enter, there is a ticket counter. They accept only cash. For Coracle ride, the ticket price was 750 rupees. And for that price, the boatsman will take you to the main falls on the Tamil Nadu side. And then they'll bring you back. It'll be like a one hour ride. If you want to go further ahead to Karnataka side falls and also see some, you know, like extended Coracle ride for another hour and go to some sand dune kind of place and all, then you will have to pay extra to the boatsman. You can bargain it and the range can vary from 800 to 1500 rupees. Uh, we bargained it for 1000 rupees with our boatsman and we were a couple. We had lots of fun. We'll show you guys what are all the places we got to see. So let's go. We actually came on a weekend, uh, Saturday, but we reached early, so it still wasn't that crowded and it was little pleasant. Uh, so after some two minutes of Coracle ride, you have to get down and walk to a path where you'll get an amazing view from the top, top view of the falls and then you'll continue your Coracle ride further. They take you so close to the falls guys, like yeah no words to explain, it was so good. Uh, have some you know ziplock cover or plastic cover to keep your wallet, car key and things like that so that it doesn't get wet. But such a beautiful experience. This is all Tamil Nadu side uh, of the waterfalls. Now we'll head further to go and check out the falls on the Karnataka side. So let's head further. This is Karnataka side of the waterfalls. If you actually look at the map, uh, the border between Tamil Nadu and Karnataka is drawn through this Hogenakal waterfalls. It's still so beautiful guys. This side also there was huge force of gushing water. It was such a brilliant sight to watch. And if you want to uh, take boating from the Karnataka side, there is a separate entry. And uh, Karnataka side, boatsmen wear yellow color t-shirt as uniform. And on the Tamil Nadu side, boatsmen were wearing blue color shirt as a uniform. So you can see the difference. There were lots of vendors 
on the boat so we enjoyed tender coconut it was getting little hot so it was very refreshing and also there are other vendors as well selling like chips bottles and so on they said no plastics are allowed however these vendors were selling plastics in various forms and i saw so many people littering guys disposing it on this falls it was such a sad sight to watch please be responsible dispose garbage appropriately do not litter after visiting the falls on the karnataka side we head further and we saw this place where you know huge amount of beach sand was deposited and they had lot of shops where they were selling fish of different forms you name it they had it guys so here you can have a lunch and they'll also leave you on the sand if you want to take a bath and play in the water for some time we chose to head back but you guys can spend some time here as well We are done with our coracle ride and we are also heading to hanging bridge next from the hanging bridge you get to enjoy a beautiful view of the falls just for rupees 10 and there is also a public you know area where you can actually go and take bath in the falls uh, another thing hoganakal is famous for is massage so in the public falls area you will see lots of men you know coming after massage for a bath So it kind of tends to get crowded on the weekends for sure. I'll show you guys. You can decide whether you want to go or not. If you have any issues in regards to your coracle ride or your massage experience you can call in complain on this number that's a good initiative best time to visit if you want to enjoy coracle ride as well then it is post monsoon till july but if you want to see the waterfalls in its full glorious self then you can come even you know during the monsoon to see just the falls they will not allow coracle ride in like peak monsoon season when the water level is too high Hey guys as i mentioned in the beginning there are two routes to reach hoganakal so while going we took kathibelle tenkani kotai route now we are taking uh, dharmapuri krishnagiri hosur and bangalore route actually to be frank uh, this route i think this is bus route and amazing road guys much wider roads than uh, the route we took and came Dharmapuri route another advantage is uh, less kilometers of guard section and even the guard section it was like two lane road so you can easily drive through the guard section as well difficult for overtaking and all then this route is much better i think this is my favorite as well if you are coming in monsoon season you can definitely take atibale route because it was it will be more scenic uh, forest 
the drive through the forest and all will be very beautiful but right now if you are coming in the next few months in this summer season you can take this route as well because right now everything is very dry like through that forest stretch as well it was in uh, you know too much of greenery and all so this is a much better route wider roads uh, i would recommend this route guys like this video do subscribe like share and comment see you also on the next video until then bye